Hi everyone, you are watching Math Tech 15. In this video, we will solve the previous year question paper of Bangalore University, BCA 5th semester. And I already solved 2 marks and 5 marks questions and 8 marks also 13th, 14th, 15th question I solved. Still, you didn't check the videos means please go and check that one. And I made separate playlist for the BCA 5th semester. Please go and check that one. And you still didn't subscribe the channel means please subscribe the channel. And in this video, we will solve the 16th question. 16th, they have given the two sub question A and B, four marks each. The first question is here, at what does of April 2001 did Wednesday fall? At what does of April 2001 did Wednesday fall? This is asked for the four marks. Okay. Here, they asked to find which dates in April 2001 were Wednesday. We need to find out the dates of April which are false as a Wednesday. To solve this, we first determine the day of 1st April 2001 and then find the Wednesday in the month. For finding the day of 1st April 2001, first we will write 1st April 2001. We will split the years here as a 2000 plus the time period will 1 1st January 2001 to 1st April 2001 okay now we will find we need to find out here number of odd days in the year 2000 okay number of number of odd days odd days in 2000 years we know that uh, the, for the 4000 years, 8000 multiples of 400 years, like 400 years, 800 years, 1600 years, 20, uh, 20 hundred means 2000 years, the number of odd days is here 0, 0 odd days, 0 odd days, okay, we need to remember that one, for the 400 years, 800 years, and 1600 years, and 2000 years, the number of odd days for the multiples of 400 years, that is the 0 odd days, this is the 0. 0 odd days. Next we need to find out the number of odd days for the this time period that is uh, 1st January of 2001 to 1st April 2001 2001 to 1st April 2001 okay I will write the month here January, February, March and April no, see here it is still April only. Okay. Now after that we need to check that is it leap year or not? To is it uh, two thousand one is div uh, div uh, divisible by four means it's a leap year. It's not the divisible by four, so it's not a leap year. So it's a ordinary year means the February has the only twenty eight days. January thirty one, and March is also thirty one. And we are finding the day for the first April. So it is a April only one day. Now we need to add this one. Twenty eight thirty one plus thirty one plus one. It's a 91 days. 91 days means how many weeks? We need to divide with the 7 by 7. 7 1 is a 7. 7 3 is a 21. So no days is left. So it is a 13 weeks. It is 13 weeks. 0 days. So for this also it will come 0 odd days. So it's also 0 odd days and this also came 0 odd days. Therefore total number of odd days is here 0 odd days. Therefore total number of odd days is 0 odd days. Okay. It's a 0 odd days. If it is a 0 odd days means it, it is a 1st April was a Sunday. Therefore 1, 4, 2001 was Sunday was Sunday okay if it is zero odd days means it's the Sunday one means it will come Monday so you need to remember that table you need to remember that table this one. okay if it is a zero zero odd days means it is Sunday first means it is a Monday second means Tuesday third means Wednesday three odd days means Wednesday four odd days means Thursday five odd days means Friday six odd days means Saturday we need to remember this one okay now, so Wednesday falls on, Wednesday falls on, you need to count here. So first is Monday means, first is, sorry, Sunday, second is Tuesday, third is Wednesday. So fourth is, sorry, 
Sunday, it's the second is Monday, third is Tuesday, fourth is Wednesday. So Wednesday falls on fourth April two thousand one. No, we need to find out all the dates of April two thousand one. So you need to add four plus seven. Four plus seven is eleven. Eleven plus seven, it's a eighteen. Eighteen plus seven, it's a twenty-five. Hence, Wednesday falls on falls on fourth, eleventh. I'll write here fourth, fourth, eleventh, eighteenth. And twenty fifth of April two thousand one. Of April two thousand one. This is the answer. Four, fourth, eleventh, eighteenth, and twenty fifth. Hope all of you understood this one. We will move to next question. So next question is here. The sum of two numbers is forty, and the difference between them is four. Find the numbers in a ratio. We need to find out the numbers in a ratios. This is asked for four marks two thousand twenty four. Solution: The sum of two numbers. Let us consider the two numbers b, a, and b. Let us consider the two numbers are a and b. Now the sum of two numbers is forty. Therefore, a plus b is here forty. And that all the difference between them is four. So a minus b is here four. Difference means subtraction. Sum means addition. Plus sign. Okay. Find the numbers in the ratio. We need to find out here a divided by b is what. For that, first we need to find out the a value and b value. For solving the this is linear equations. So for solving these equations, we will get the a and b. Okay. Solve the equations. A plus b equals to forty. A minus B equals to four. Plus B minus B is get cancelled. Two A equals to forty-four. So A equals to what here? A equals to forty-four divided by two. Two ones are two twos are four. So A equals to here twenty-two. So we will find and substitute the value in the first equation. That is the. Let's see. We will give. What is A plus B equals to forty? A equals to twenty two. Twenty two plus B equals to forty. So B equals to here forty minus twenty two. Plus twenty two comes on right side means it is a minus twenty two. Forty minus twenty two means it is a B is eighteen. Now we need to find out the ratio of this one. A divided by B. B is eighteen. A is twenty two. Twenty two divided by eighteen. It will go with two. Two ones are two. Two ones are two. Two nines are eighteen. So it is a eleven by nine. Therefore, the ratio is ratio is eleven is to nine. Let's ask for four marks. Hope all of you understood this one. We will move to next question. Next question here. At what time between three o'clock and the four o'clock the hands of the clock be together? It's asked for four marks. And another one question is also for the four marks. Okay, first we will solve the A. So the question is here: At what time between three o'clock and the four o'clock the hands of the clock be together? The hands of the clock be together means it's a minute hand and the hour hand. The we will have, we have the two hands. That is our hand and minute hand. Okay, first I will draw the clock here. Here they ask here: What time? In the at what time between three o'clock and the four o'clock the hands of the clock be together? The hands of the clock be together means minute hand and uh, minute hand and hour hand will overlap each other. So see here: At exactly three o'clock the hour hand is is exactly at Three and the minute hand is at twelve. Okay, at three o'clock means it will come the the hour hand at three and the minute hand at twelve. Okay, the hands will meet somewhere between the three and four. They will uh, they will overlap each other at three and four. So we need to calculate the exact time in the minutes. Okay, when the the two hands overlap each other. The both the hands overlap at at, at between three o'clock and four o'clock. Somewhere they will meet means they will meet at. A, I mean between the three o'clock and four o'clock. So for that we need to first we need to determine the speed of the hands in a minutes. Okay. So so first the minutes hand moves in a three sixty degree in a sixty minutes. 
so it moves at the rate of minutes means the speed of the minute hand is that is d by t that is 360 divided by 60 so first we will find out the speed of the minute hand for that first first we will find out find the speeds of the hands hands okay first we will find out the speeds of the hand first is the speed of the minute hand minute hand okay what is the speed speed formula is distance traveled divided by time okay the here distance traveled means angle it is a full one rotation means it is a 360 degree 360 degree it in a how many minutes it will take the 60 minutes so 0 0 get cancelled 6 1 is a 6 6 is a. so it, it will in one minute it will rotate 6 degree that meaning is that is in one minute in one minute minute hand and rotate 6 degree this meaning this one okay now we will find out the speed of the our hand speed of the our hand this is also same formula distance travel divided by time it is a distance is one rotation means it is a 360 degree only so it is a uh, in 12 hours the overhand means it in a 12 hours it will full one rotation will complete the overhand will the completes one rotation in a 12 hours see here the, if it is the, the watch has the 1 to 12 hours only so it is a it is a 12 hours 12 hours we need to convert into minute 12 into 60 it is a 720 minutes okay so it is a 720 0, 0 get cancelled 6 6 is a 36 6 1 is a 6 6 2 is a 12 6 1 is a 6 6 2 is a 12 so it is a 1 by 2 degree I mean, that meaning is 0 0.5 degree 0 0.5 degree 0 0.5 degree what is this meaning that meaning is uh, the in one minute it's a one minute in a one minute overhand rotate 0 0.5 degree it will rotate 0 0.5 degree. that meaning is this one okay after that we need to find out the position of the hands at a t minutes after 3 o'clock now see here at 3 o'clock the other hand start at 90 degree see here it is exactly we need, we need to understand we need to understand this is the at exactly 3 o'clock at exactly 3 o'clock means that is the overhand it's already covers the 90 degree it already covers the here overhand covers the 90 degree okay at 3 o'clock the overhand starts at 90 degree after t minutes the overhand moves an additional so we need to write that one the, so the position of the overhand is here position of the overhand is here 90 degree plus 0 0.5 degree into t it's the answer okay next we need to find out the position of the minute hand position of the minute hand is it's here the minute hand is, is at exactly 12 o'clock on the 12 only uh, so it is a the minute hand starts at 0 degree only so the position of the minute hand is 6 into t position of the minute hand is and 6 into t degree okay now we need to equate this one okay we need to equate this these two to form an equation so it will now it will rotate at the same time so it is the next step is here set up the equation so it will become here 90 plus 0 0.5 t equals to 60 now we need to solve this one now we need to solve this one 90 as it is 60 0 0.5 it will take on the right side it's a minus 0 0.5 t so 90 60 minus 0 0.5 t means it is a 5.5 t so it is t equals to here 5.5 is comes on the denominator t equals to 90 divided by 5.5 so after calculating this one we will get here 16.36 it's in a minutes now we need to calculate we need to convert this 0 0.36 minutes in a seconds 
सो जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स मिनिट्स इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स इंटू सिक्सटी सेकेंड्स सो इट इज अ ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट सिक्स सेकेंड्स इट्स अ पॉइंट सिक्स इट्स ग्रेट पॉइंट इट्स ग्रेटर देन फाइव मीन्स वी नीड टू और वी नीड टू कंसिडर नेक्स्ट नंबर इट्स अ ट्वेंटी टू सो इट इज अ वी नीड टू कंसिडर नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी टू सेकेंड्स ओके आफ्टर दैट सो द हैंड्स विल मीट एट सिक्सटीन मिनिट्स ट्वेंटी टू सेकेंड्स पास थ्री ओ क्लॉक सो द हैंड्स विल मीट एट सिक्सटीन मिनिट्स ट्वेंटी टू सेकेंड्स ओके पास थ्री ओ क्लॉक that meaning is therefore the hands of the clock will be together together at 3 o'clock 16 minutes 22 seconds otherwise you can write it 3 o'clock 16 minutes 22 seconds okay the minute hand and uh, the hour hand will overlap when in between 3 and 4 means it at a 3 o'clock at 3 3 hour uh, 3 16 minutes 22 seconds this is the answer hope all of you understood this one we will continue the next questions in the next video still you didn't subscribe the channel means please subscribe the channel and share the videos to your friends thank you